I'd like to call to order the Board of Education uh, Commissioners uh, monthly meeting, June 11th, 2019. July. Oh, July, I'm sorry. For glasses. Members present, myself, Kurt Hunter, uh, Greg Poulin, T.Y. Elkerson, Jeff Bartlett, also present, Jessica Ward, airport manager, uh, Bill Nelson, our uh, attorney, uh, Gene Simmons, the ozone from the uh, uh, city council, and uh, also um, Andrew. Andrew from BFNX. Anybody get, or get a chance to uh, read the minutes of the last meeting? Yes, I make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. <coughs> Financial reports. Questions. Okay. So, gas and electric has evened itself out. Look at that. We knew that happened eventually. Um, we did just pay our additional annual airport liability policy for $5,050, so that account has a negative balance of $632.94. Um, the controller's office is the one that handles those um, liability insurance, property insurance, and auto insurance account, so they'll have it all worked out by the end of the year. Um, we also have airport projects. We spent $35,940.34 on this past month. One was for Continental Electric. Um, we finished up the ramp lighting project, so their payment is in the claims docket, um, as well as the new mower is also in there. Um, aviation fuel, we bought a um, load of fuel as well, a partial load, but that hasn't been in the aviation fuel um, fund yet. Other than that, everything's looking okay. Uh, I have one question here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think you already answered it. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, fuel sales. Overall, we sold 1,203.4 gallons of 100 low lead. 3,319.6 gallons of Jet A and 154.1 gallons of Swift Fuel in June. Our self-service Hunter Low Lead price is 4.44 a gallon. Full service is 4.54 a gallon, and our Jet A is 3.30 a gallon for both self and full service. Self-service UL94 is 4.43 a gallon. And I did look up last year at this time. Our ag gas price was actually 36 cents less per gallon, with self-service being only 4.08 and full service 4.18. So that's how much gas is up this year from last. Um, and that's fuel sales. And, uh, Jessica, can you tell us about the pancake breakfast? I can. So our fly and drive-in pancake breakfast is this Sunday from 7 to noon. Um, the FOP Dunes Lodge 75 Auxiliary has already started setting up for it. They brought tables out. They have a grill out here now. Um, our hangar's already cleared out, ready to go for it. Um, we're going to have airplane rides, helicopter rides, and skydiving available um, for the breakfast. Weather looks fantastic, but of course those are weather-dependent items. Um, we have a canine demonstration scheduled at 10 a.m. We have the Edith House, um, a fire truck, many different police vehicles that will be here on display as well. And it will be a beautiful day this year to fly in, hopefully, but weather changes daily around here. So, so far it looks great. So I'm hoping for an awesome turnout. Avgas fuel purchase. We did just receive 6,300 gallons of Avgas on a split. Um, our Avgas price is gonna go down 14 cents tomorrow. So the new price will be 430 for self-service and 435 for, for full service. Which leads us to our Oshkosh Week Airport Specials. Of course, we're gonna offer hot dogs, chips, drinks, cookies for an appreciated donation, full service Avgas for the self-service pricing. And I'm going to take um, 20 cents, 15, I lied, 15. I'm gonna take 15 cents off our Avgas fuel price 
um, to get people in here. It's going to go on. I haven't put it on the EAA website because I haven't known the cost of fuel until today. I just got the bill for it. So I'll put that on the EAA um, website so everybody flying in will know. And um, for full service price at self-service, um, they just need to say that they're going to Oshkosh. And it's for the whole week, like July 19th all the way through the 28th. Um, and that's that. And okay. lastly, we have our AWOS temperature sensor failure. So Scott Pika, who's our AWOS tech, he recently came out and did um, an inspection with the FAA tech, and he found our temperature sensor associated with the present weather sensor failed, and it was reading really high. Uh, he requested a price for this part so we can get the site fully operational again from DBT, who does all the supply parts for Vaisala. Uh, the rep from DBT replied stating that the FD12 visibility sensor that we currently have is end of life, and Vaisal is no longer manufacturing spare parts for that sensor. Um, the sensor has to be replaced by PWD22. Um, the quote for the new sensor is 14336 There are no other suppliers for this visibility sensor as it's proprietary to the Vaisala system. Um, and we would take this out of our capital account if you so feel. And so we have no other options? No other options. Okay. And this is it. Fourteen thousand. That's me. Fourteen thousand three thirty-six. The whole AWOS only costs hundred grand. <laughs> 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 well, you know what? This is the first time we've had. Installation. Um, I'm only, I mean, this guy selling this for fourteen thousand. Is that like lifetime warranty or what, what's the deal? Oh, it's just warranty till it goes out. I mean, there's no warranty on AWOS parts really at all. But we, how, what year was it that we did the, like 2010? It's been oh, yeah. nine years and we've never had to replace a part, so it's pretty good. Yeah, so it's, it's like $10,000 almost a year then, right? For well, hopefully this will make it go another 10 years. Yes. Well, I'm trying to entertain a motion. Uh, to I'll make the motion to go ahead and purchase that part for 14000 A second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, with motion yeah, passes? Money. Yes. Okay. Okay, airport development. I, you did I, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Airport development. I'm sorry. I need a hearing aid. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's you, Andrew. Oh, that's You're up. Runway 220 extension revised draft EA was submitted to Bob Camp on May 3rd, 19. Uh, next item, I'll just I'll be a highlight of these items because some of these we just uh, we discussed recently. ALP is still in line for review by Gary Wilson with FAA. Currently, this item is not holding anything up, so we're not pushing too hard. Uh, we do have a new capital planner. Katie English is her name, Yay. and uh, she comes from Indot, and she's working on master project schedules to help out with the whole CIP process. Uh, the design agreement with the Sanitary District is progressing. We're working through the timing of the services and cash flow. Paul started another sentence, which I don't think it is supposed to be in there, but anyway. So that's uh, that's the majority of the report there. Uh, should I just go into DB? Sure. Okay. I have a question. Um, the July conduct consultation, are you consult, uh, consulting with those industry groups? Or is that? That's what the purpose of this is. So we're going to open it up and see if there are any industry groups here that have any comments. So typically not. Okay. No one's here. But I'll just so make sure we cover that. I'll just launch off into the DBE thing. Uh, this is a federal requirement. 49 CFR Part 26 requires you to have a DBE plan on file. And uh, about six years or so ago, they went through a three-year plan. So this is a continuation. The old plan is expiring. This new one is coming into effect. And what I do is uh, attachment five explains how I get to the numbers that I get to. That is, we take your CIP for the next three to five years, the projects that you're potentially going to be buying for federal funds for. If you exceed 250000 in any federal year, if you receive a grant exceeding 250000 you've got to have a DB percentage. And this would be about 5.4, is that what the number is? 5.4% right? based on statistical analysis of ready, willing, and able DBEs in your market area, which is Indiana. Mm -hmm. and probably considered Indiana statewide, uh, the program statewide. So we compare that to the NAICS data. 
2012 in census data. It's uh, in those same NAICS categories, and we put it through a formula. It spits out a base factor percentage, and then we see if there's a step two uh, adjustment to that. And okay. the step two adjustment is we look at historical data going back about 10 years for airports of like size. And so we adjust it a little bit, and that's what we accept as the draft goal, which is what you guys accepted uh, last month, I believe. Well, I think we need a uh, motion to uh, accept this extension to the DBE. Does anybody make a motion to uh, extend the uh, DBE? We need, we need to do public comment. I'm sorry? First. We need public comment on it. I'll get up for public comment with respect to any comments that are related to the DBE plan. That will be your consultation. Okay. And then uh, if there are no comments, then there are no comments. But we've already noted it, no comments. Yeah, I make a motion then that we extend the uh, CD. Just a few. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Thanks. And what comes next is the these plans have been submitted to the FAA. They're going to take a look at it, um, and they will uh, issue a letter saying that they approve the goal as stated in this in this draft plan. It's not official until you get that letter back from the FAA, and then it comes uh, takes effect October first of this year. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, old business. Any old business? Are we supposed to do something like this? A motion on that part? Yeah, the oh, corner offer. That's Bill. Well, we that's, that. under, that's under it's new un business. Well, it's it's actually under our airport development items, but... Oh, oh I'm sorry. Is it fine? So yeah, new business. I'll talk real quick about the Tarmac Lighting Project because that's under support development. Um, the lighting project's done. We have um, the claim in here to pay them. Um, the only outstanding items that we had was um, filling in ruts and grass seeding. Um, they came back and said that they didn't put any money into the project to fill ruts and grass seed. Um, so I purchased dirt to fill in ruts um, and grass seed, and that's also in here. That's what h &S is, and this is for dirt. Um, so the project is all done. Oh, yeah, Lights all work. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. What's that? I bought a dump load, like a dump truck load. Good deal. So it didn't tell me exactly how many yards. Not 20, Greg. Two I did not buy 20 yards. I did not buy 20 yards. Just me. Um, so I just wanted to tidy that up. It won't be on our next agenda. Okay. Done. All right. Um, we need to talk about the withdrawal of the purchase agreement on, the, on account of the title issues. Uh, let, me, let me talk about that a little bit if I could. I know last month uh, the, the board approved a motion to accept the counteroffer of Tunnum Blank uh, contingent upon my review. And uh, well, here's what I can tell you tonight. Um, although my concerns do not necessarily lie in the in the, the counter offer as far as the value of the uh, of the monies Tunnum Blank is requesting to sell the property, what I've learned is that there's a there's an issue that is unclear right now on a, on a, a small portion of the property as it relates to title. So even though we could probably justify the, the, the sum that Tunnel Blank has been asking for, we're just not clear yet on a, about a seven point something uh, parcel of property that I think we need sh should clear up first. So, I, and I know your motion to accept the counter offer Tunnel Blank was contingent. I think what, what might be appropriate tonight would be so that I can work with Paul a little bit more and the folks at, at, his, at the engineering firm on this title issue. Um, I think it might be a good idea to formally withdraw the acceptance of the counter offer from Tom Blank. Again, not that it may not be renewed at some point. That's not what I'm saying. It's we need to clear some issues first okay. on a seven acre plus parcel of property before we can take the next step. I'll uh, make that motion to withdraw our our acceptance of his counter offer from last month. Okay, I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. I'll get with Paul Thank on that uh, next week when he's back in the office and get started on that right away. Hopefully we can have, maybe have this cleared up for you by the next meeting. Okay, that would be wonderful. Thanks. Okay. Secondly, we have the uh, Michigan City Hangar Association uh, lease, which um, is 
we like to end the uh, five-year holdover on, on that and um, get a proper lease on the new lease in place. <clears throat> so we need to, I believe, send a letter to them notifying them that we intend to um, stop going just month to month and, uh, and, and, and execute a proper lease. What would that be then for a standard yearly? 10 20, year, is it 20? 20, 20 year with a 10 year extension. Right. Yeah, yeah, renewals are 10. Mm -hmm. Initials are 20. Okay. Well, I make a motion that we go ahead and uh, propose that to them for a, a standard well, I don't, I don't know if we're quite ready for that yet. I think what we need to decide tonight is simply the issue of this continuing the current holdover month by month tenancy lease. Okay. Uh, right. I think right now, all you need to decide is whether or not you want to keep doing that or you want to end that. If you want to end the existing lease, I think the only motion you need to make tonight is is, is a, uh, and it's probably fair since it's been five years under the holdover to give a little time. I, I, think, I think 90 days might be a good amount of time. I, yeah, I if you made a motion to, to to end the lease 90 days from now, then I could notify the current tenant, and I can certainly welcome them to, to come to us about uh, discussions about a new lease, because I'm not sure how they want to reform that see yet. See what they want to do. Yeah, see right. what they want to do first. Okay. Um, but I think tonight's issue is only about the board kind of ending this month-to-month month month month, uh, holdover okay. tenancy. So, so basically, we'll give them 90 we'll days. Give 90 days. And at that point, we will end the holdover yep, at yep. that point. And that gives us 90 days also for them to work with us if they right. want to, to, to start getting in place a new lease that'll be ready to go on the day that the old lease, this tenancy, holdover tenancy terminates. Okay. I'd like to make a motion that we give them a 90 day I guess notice, notice. Yeah. To, terminate. to terminate. Oh, terminate monthly, right? Monthly. Yeah, or, or monthly. monthly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Would the board like me then to draft a letter to the current yes, tenant? Right. We'll do. I'll get that out right away. Thank you. Be kind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am stuck. We all we got to get stuck at that. Um, you need a motion to accept the claims docket? I make that motion that we accept the claim document. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Correspondence, Raymond. We have none. Public comment. I will say one thing though, real quick. Should have been in my airport manager report, but I just remembered this. Bill and I actually had a meeting this morning and we had a meeting with the mayor um, yesterday, not Bill and I, I and Johnny Stimley and T.Y. and Nancy had a meeting with the mayor about the project build. We've been talking about this building project where the children are gonna come for an after school program and build a airplane here at the airport. Um, and we're really moving forward on that. Um, so we talked to Bill, we figured out um, kind of like what we want that to look like um, with TY he would be the instructor um, leading the build project but it would be in, the airport would be the one that would kind of run the project and it would you know so um, we're looking to get an appropriation from the city council you know for this project um, so we're, we're moving forward with this and I just want to keep you guys updated right now we're gonna work on getting a proposal together for it TY and I will work together and making sure that we have kind of all of our bases covered and a proposal and exactly you know what you know what the kids are going to be doing every day and what you know the project's going to entail and have everything ready um to figure out how we kind of go about doing this um but we talked about doing like um using an independent contractor so um the instructor would contract with the board as an independent contractor um and then we're going to rent a hanger for it buy the kit um so this is all hopefully going to start we're hoping within this next fall season maybe september by october we're hoping to have it all up and Ready and running. It's exciting. Yes, it's going to be very exciting. So, the independent contractors. Correct. Is there a conflict of interest? There's a state. There's a. You know, okay, go. Okay, okay. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. No, I think it's more than anything. We're going to talk about. Yeah, that's the tail grinder. We're looking at the Zenit Cruiser. What is that valued at on the kit? Um, it's about twenty-five. Okay. Right. Yeah. 
the board members are not prohibited from being involved in um, you know, no. enterprise with their governmental entity. There's just a, a conflict of interest for them. Um, but a lot of times it's the folks that are that are the, most the, interested the, in, in, that's why they serve. In, in, the passion in, that they Yeah, have. they have a passion for it. And so they serve on a board, and they're sometimes the best people to provide the services that the boards need. So that's why the, the governmental entities have a conflict of interest in you file. And as long as you get that on file, um, it's it's perfectly fine for board members to Sounds serve like in capacities. Mm -hmm. And we've got someone who's, yeah, he's passionate and knowledgeable and perfect fit for him. Perfect. That's great. That's so, something about teaching. No, no, I don't oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But you know something on airplanes. Uh we have no else. Anyway, I just want to make sure. Just one, one point. So, so the Pancake Breakfast, since it's uh, airport and aviation activity, um, is we, you know, the Ron, Ron Boba, right? He has a new flight simulator. I think he displayed that in Laporte. Would I think it'd be nice to invite him to bring that here for oh, sure. some of the kids to to experience that. So he's gone. It's gone beyond the one I used to bring in. Yeah. yeah so it's now virtual awesome. reality. Um, so so if you want me to invite him, I can. Yeah, that'd be great. Him. Is that a motion? Well, yeah, it's all full motion. It's like a front show. And yeah. it's live. It's, it's like Wi-Fi connects at the uh, Laporte had a uh, aviation camp for kids. He was able to log in, so somehow get on online, and there was an aircraft carrier in one of the Middle East uh, bodies of water, live, and they were able to simulate as if they were landing on this aircraft carrier. That's neat. Live oh, time. Yeah. So the reason they did that was it was yeah. you know, the I mean, kids I, wanted to fly over the port that day. I'm saying that yeah, because it's an aviation activity. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's even better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll talk to you yeah. and see if he'll agree to bring it in. And if he does, maybe you can get that out there on the web page or something mm -hmm. like that to get kids more enthused about coming. Yeah, definitely. Dragging their parents. Yep. And what's the age group again? Um, a, the pancake breakfast? No, the kids. <laughs> oh, you're talking about for the build, the build project. Build the project. Oh, it's going to be junior and seniors yeah. in high school. Yeah, oh, okay. preferably seniors. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. <laughs> and it will be a year-long project, and it's going to be like after school. So kind of like kids can be involved in like Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or whatever outside school activity. This was going to be. Mm -hmm. um, it's an outside school activity that we would like to offer them at the airport. So they would come like from three to five Monday, Wednesday um, to the airport. And it would be a group of like six to eight students. And they would build an aircraft from scratch. Is there any like high school credit? Or nope, there's not going to be okay. high school credit for this, so, but they will get the repairman certificate. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Something mm -hmm. like the robotics. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And it's all STEM and manufacturing. Mm -hmm. and, exactly. Yep. Yeah, and they can put it on their resume. I mean, hands on. Oh, yeah. That's the best stuff. It's hands on training. You're right. Yeah, they can resume it out. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be credit. I mean, it's, it's already credit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Activity it's all stuff. hands on. That's where you so I, I'm on the, um, the board, the scholarship board for aviation Indiana. And two of our applicants this year both stated that they did a project similar to this um, in Aviation Nation and how much they got out of the project and, you know, what they want to put back in. Another one was actually a, a, a woman that actually went to Gary Community Schools and she said that her goal with like using the scholarship money if she was awarded the scholarship would be to like literally put money back into Gary Schools like because she is so interested in getting kids excited about aviation and stuff in Gary School System because no nobody ever really talks about aviation there. So she found out like from her grandma you know anything about aviation. She did Young Eagles Ride oh, nice. and so she really loved that and decided to pursue aviation. Um, so I think this goes right along with it. It's like kids in Michigan City, like this is getting them involved and learning about yeah. the field. We know that we need more pilots. We need more everything, mechanics, yeah, right. everything yeah. in aviation. And so this is just kind of an extra thing to get them involved um, at the airport. And bring this is great. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah. Thanks. It'll be fun. Any more? Okay, motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Most of you guys. Most of you guys. Most of you guys. Most of you guys.